Weight loss can be a challenge and a curse for many people. Today, I'm going to give you 5 simple lifestyle changes that can help you to lose weight faster. Welcome back everybody, my name is Pasquale and I'm a nutrition and lifestyle coach. I live in Ireland in the wonderful county Kilkenny. In this channel, I talk about nutritional tips, healthy recipes and lifestyle tips like this one. So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and click the bell to get updates on new videos. So as I said before, today I'm going to give you 5 simple tips of lifestyle changes that can help you to lose weight faster. There will be actually six, there will be a bonus tip at the end of this video and a one that I consider particularly personal because it helped me a lot when I decided to lose weight before to become a nutrition and lifestyle coach. So stick to the end of the video to get the new the bonus tip. Weight loss can be a damnation uh, for us, for many of us, because um, it's particularly difficult to reach there are so many variables involved in weight loss that uh, any of them that changes a bit can impact our chances to success. But I think the changes have not to be massive, just simple basic changes can help you a lot in your journey of weight loss. So, let's start. Tip number one would be to shop your grocery in a fat state. I know it may sound silly and simple and probably you heard about that in the past but if you go and shop your food when you have your belly full of your previous meal then you avoid to buy um, junk food or chocolate or sodas that are packed with unhealthy ingredients and when you go there uh, with an empty stomach your brain will signal your body that you are needed calories and food and nutrients and so your eyes just uh, pick it up everything that is already there all together so you tend to buy everything and um, you can imagine how many silly things you get to buy in your grocery shop when you're hungry um, and I want to tell you a secret there's something in my cupboards since 2015 that I need to get rid of Tip number two is to keep your house temptation free. And this tip is strictly connected to the first one. You need to buy only natural ingredients, only healthy ingredients, only healthy food. If you buy a junk food, then you need to get rid of everything. And there are two main things you can do to get rid of everything. You can bin it. And because food is of this kind of food is quite cheap because it's made with cheap ingredients, sometimes it's um, it's a discount shop food and it won't be that much of a waste in terms of money or 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 you can give it to the lady next door the one you hate very much and then at the end of the month she's gonna look unhealthy and you with these tips you're gonna look really really healthy and great but the important thing is to do it now is not to do it in the next hour is not to do it tomorrow or next week you need to start now to get rid of, of everything that's unhealthy for you because the earlier you start the earlier you commit the sooner you get your results tip number three is to increase your muscle mass uh, endurance sport are really uh, helpful in if you do as a, at the professional level because you are putting your body through a lot of exercise but if you're just a jogger, um, then even if every kind of sport is going to help your body to be healthier, this not will help you very much to lose your weight faster. And the only way to lose your weight faster is cardio or to increase your muscle mass. If you increase your muscle growth, then you're helping your body to uh, increase the basal metabolism. Basically it happens because when you do a simple exercise of weightlifting for example, some of your fibers of the muscle that uh, compose your of the fiber that compose your muscles snaps and break, break down completely. And then during the sleep if you ate the, the right amount of proteins then your brains give the signals to your body to build up again the fibers that got broken during the exercise and then it builds new ones, extra ones. So, so 
the amount of fibers increases, the amount of cells increases and the amount of uh, blood vessels inside your body increases so your basal metabolism increases so you will need more calories to maintain your body and sometimes because you're, il you're eating a healthy diet uh, your calories intake is going to be lower and then you're going to lose weight of course by saying that I'm not saying that you have to become the new Arnold Schwarzenegger um, if you just think about that I train four to five days per week in the gym um, lifting weight and I still look like an hobbit. Tip number four is to have a stress-free life. During your stress level, a hormone, a steroid hormone called cortisol is produced. And what cortisol does is, is impacting your blood sugar levels. And as we said before in previous videos, when blood sugar level rises, then you are affected by sugar cravings, hunger cravings. A sustained stress level and, and so a sustained uh, amount of cortisol present in your blood creates a condition called allostatic condition where all the body function are basically impacted, negatively impacted and disrupted like uh, hunger as the most important one we're talking today but also sleep and mood so we need to remove the sources of our stress so if you're um, stressed at work then you may ask to change your position to your boss or change uh, job completely if you are stressed by some financial problems then think about it that being stressed or not it doesn't change the way your financial problems are you won't solve your problem you need to be focused on reducing your stress level and your stress sources you can also uh, think to start some uh, meditation or some respiration exercises or some yoga so some exercises that can, can help you to reduce your stress level so the main thing here is if somebody is, is stressing you, they can go to hell. Tip number five is dieting is not a solution. When, when you start dieting, you are privating yourself of some kind of food or some, some kind of nutrients. Some diet that removes some macronutrients completely or some uh, food groups completely. And I don't believe this is correct unless you know you're vegan or vegetarian for ethic reasons, there's a different matter. But if you need to change yourself and your weight through dieting, I don't think this is the right path. The right path is to start a proper healthy nutrition and uh, then continue to with the healthy nutrition all the year long. When, you, when you're eating the right food, weight loss will be only a natural consequence because your sense of fulfillment and satisfaction will come from food and food is um, something that has to give you satisfaction has to give you happiness you don't need to restrict any kind of food if you want to lose weight nor fat nor proteins nor carbs you just need to eat proper food and reading the labels uh, can help you to avoid food that can negatively impact your weight by eating properly and not dieting, then you can treat yourself on a weekly basis with some kind of food you like. It can be a burger, it can be a cake, and you don't need to feel guilty because you are not dieting, you are just eating properly the whole year, and then every week you can get your treat. And I tell you what, if you follow the five meals per day advice I gave you in the previous video, three main meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then two snacks, one in the morning and one in the afternoon, you should consider about 1,820 meals per year. But if you have a treat per week, it's only 54 uh, treats per year. And I can assure you, this will impact your journey through weight loss at all actually will help you because it will give you that sense of satisfaction that is needed for a proper nutrition plan. Now it's time for the bonus tip and I saved you this one for the as the last. Um, I said it for the last because I think it's particularly personal because it's the same problem I had throughout my journey before to become a nutrition lifestyle coach. I had problem to uh, lose my weight and until I realized what I really needed to do it was always a problem for me. My last advice is to feel you are ready to change. And what I mean by saying that, that um, when you are ready to change, you know it. When you're ready to change, you look yourself in the mirror and you say, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna start to weight loss today. You know, when all people around you ask you to lose weight, 
Um, it may be your wife or your husband, it can be your parents or your best friends. They're asking you to do something and you, in some way, you feel forced to take an action you don't want to take. Even if, you, if it is your desire to lose weight, you feel some way forced to, to do something. And it is not the right way to lose weight. You are only ready to change when you are ch ready to change your habits in food, in lifestyle changes, but it, it must be your own choice. You are your main protagonist in your life and there is nobody that can tell you what to do and how to do when you are coming to lose weight. It's only yourself. Because if you feel forced because somebody is asking you to do it, then there's a good chance you're gonna fail. And if you fail the first time and then the second time, also your confidence in yourself will be diminished. And then you probably gain more weight and then your mood is gonna change and your stress level are gonna increase and it's gonna be worse and worse. So you have to wait until it's the right time for yourself to lose weight. Just look yourself in the mirror, in the mirror and say, yes, I'm ready. And then you start your weight loss journey. And the chances to succeed will increase exponentially. Well, I hope you liked this video. It was a very short video and were very basic tips, but sometimes the basic things are the most useful one. And I believe these five tips plus the bonus one can help you a lot to lose weight. So if you liked the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to get new updates or consider subscrib subscribing also my Facebook and my Instagram pages where you can find photos of all the meals or dishes I prepare for myself so you can see the way I eat. Thumbs up if you like the video and if you like please share with your friends and help my channel grow. So I'm only left to say eat well, live well and smile and see you next Wednesday with a new video and on the next video we're gonna have five tips on nutritional changes that can help you to lose weight. Bye!